<laughs> so I woke up this morning to news about this guy. Uh, if you don't know who he is, his name is Carl Pay, and he's the CEO of Nothing. And no, I'm not being facetious, his company is called Nothing. I didn't bother to look into what they fucking do because I don't fucking care. What I do care about is the fact that he sent an email to his employees saying that they all had to go back to the office five days a week because... I've already belabored... Uh, I've already belabored the fact of, like... Of, of going back to the office five days a week is literally just so, is literally just a control thing. Every single metric has shown that productivity goes up when people work from home. Uh, employee happiness goes up when people work from home. Um, and uh, ultimately, uh, costs are saved when people work from home. There is the, the only thing that, it, here's the people that don't like work from home middle managers who are not able to find bullshit tasks to like when you're a middle manager when people are working remotely all you need to do is just is just uh check in with your employees one like every once in a while look at and and, and look to see if work is being done if the work is being done like the problem is is that in a remote in a work from home remote setting middle managers are kind of become a level of obsolete and ceos don't get that good feeling of like walking into one of the company offices executives don't get the feeling of walking into one of the offices and seeing all of their little worker bees making them money it is a feeling it is not like that that pe that that people of a certain wealth and or people of a certain age do not get to have and they want that feeling they want that feeling of power control and you know status that comes with being in charge of a bunch of people and seeing them work on your behalf because quote this is a company for grown-ups by the way this man is 34 so he's barely a man that's true 30 like 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 he's a millennial he's a 30 like 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 people they don't even they still consider millennials children even though like there aren't any millennials under the age of i think 30 like under the age of i think 30 at this point Grown up, as far as I'm concerned. First, let me start with this. The only time you should be calling somebody grown ups or using the term grown ups is when you're talking to toddlers and your company employees are not toddlers. But yep. this seems to be a trend among corporations and arrogant CEOs where they think that all of their employees are just like ungrateful babies and you should all be so thankful for the tiny crumbs of salaries that we give you when we make billions and billions of dollars and our companies do stock buybacks and we've laid off tens of thousands of employees so now we have record profits also as a reluctant corporate communications girly i don't understand how this dude doesn't have a communications team telling him not to put this heinous shit in writing here's the Communications teams really be taking, like, the unhinged, wild bullshit coming out of the mouth of the bourgeoisie and making it barely fucking padable for the general public, man. Like, they, they, they really are, like, the fucking Gorbals machines, man. Holy hell. The reality. Grown-ups realize that working remotely is what works for people's lives because they have grown-up responsibilities like caring for children a reminder that child care like like at least in my state delaware pre-k is like 300 bucks you know 300 bucks a month cool great like most people will, once their kids are old enough for pre-k will do their put their kids into pre-k in the system do that way because daycare is like 300 bucks a week and that's like cheap daycare is fucking expensive man like people like if you like i don't have kids but my, my have friends that have kids and like the whole like the the level the amount of money to get their like infants and to and like not pre-k eligible toddlers into fucking you know shit is insane it's absurd and work that's another reason work from home is so good it allows people to like you know it, it saves people money because they don't have to fucking they can they can put their fucking toddler next to their desk and they don't have to fucking deal with like like a, like a, a like a grand a month on fucking child care man 
caring for elderly parents. Um, some of them don't have reliable modes of transportation. And so working from home allows them to have a job. That That's me. I had to take a bus every day and I had to wake up in either an hour. I was either going to be an hour like in the way it worked was I was either going to, if I wanted to get to my job, I either had to be an hour early before eight. Like I had to, like, like, like I had to be either an hour early before nine or an hour late. It sucked. And once they finally did, I finally did get find a way to get there before nine. I was always like 12 minutes late. It was terrible. Period. Remote work is a DE&I issue. And if you are unwilling to provide some Oh, I hate the fact that, like, people are using, like, DEI as, like, fucking, like, it's the new woke, which is the new, it's the new woke, which was the new BLM, which is, was the new, uh, fucking, which was the new, like, welfare queen. It just, it's just, it's, just say the N-word. Like, like, all, like, just say the N-word. Whatever, like, whatever I hear people calling something woke, I just, like, it, I, I look at the people they're talking about. I look at what they're calling, like, uh, they say the word work, I look at the people they're talking about, I'm just like, okay, so they're just trying to say, insert slur here. Like, that's all it fucking is, man. ...sort of flexibility in your working environment, then you are not creating an equitable and inclusive space for your employees. You have... They don't actually care about that. They, like, the fucking NFL, like, nothing. Um, um, like, companies don't actually care about, like, diversity because, like, you know, they, they will prioritize like it at the lower rungs but like when you get to this lately they get to the c-suite they will have like one woman usually a white woman and maybe a black man or a black man uh, or a, a, a man of color or they would just have a woman of color as like the token hire Motherfuckers out here like the new CEO of Starbucks who is working remotely for his $1.6 million salary a year. He got a $10 million sign-on bonus. He's working remotely in California when the headquarters are based in Seattle and all of the Starbucks corporate employees were mandated to go back to the office last year. And it's I want to be very clear that like as a remote employee, I don't think I'm not necessarily against like uh, going into the office at all, but, like, I think, you know, like, if, if like, they are, like, if, you, if they want you to, like, come into the office for, like, a big old in-person meeting, like, once a month, like, on, like, a, on, like, a Monday or whatever, like, like, I'm cool, like, I'm cool with that, like, 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 so much, like, insofar as, like, gotta travel, book travel, like, make it, like, honestly, like, make it, like, a, like, I, I'm not opposed to that, like, the idea of, like, hey, you gotta, like, you gotta come into the office, like, this Friday, I'm like, okay, cool, well, like, with the kid, like, like, wait, you know, if, like, I'm, if I'm, like, a, ran a like, random Josh Mo, wake the kids up, take them out, of, like, they're not going into school on Friday, it's, f like, for funsies, like, we're gonna, like, we're getting up at, like, two, like, six o'clock in the morning, we're, we're, we're getting up at, like, four in the morning like for like a plane trip we like we go to you fly into the city where it's located in you know get a little hotel thing you can do hickey you go to work leave the kids with your partner and like you they go have like a, they go like like sleep and then go have a fun day you go to work for a few hours meet things say hi just blah blah blah, blah. and then like then like you know you get home, you get back to the thing and like you get to spend all Saturday in like a, in like a city or whatever, like 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 Seattle or Los Angeles, see some sites, do a little tourism. You know, Sunday, you know, have a, like some nice breakfast, visit a like a, re a local famous restaurant, get on a plane, go home, and like you're home, and everybody's in and everybody's in bed asleep by nine by like nine or ten. Now, granted, I'm spoiled because I live in the northeastern seaboard and have readily access and and, and have easier access to uh airports i know that people living in uh you know m larger states and in, in in the middle of the country do not have that luxury so bear in mind that i'm like thinking like i live in like delaware the fucking um headquarters is in la or chicago or austin or houston even and like doing it that way that's what i'm thinking like, uh, like i'm down Take the wife out and go get some Texas barbecue and shit. Like over, a, like just take a like a like a short weekend, like like vacation thing. Like I'm cool with going to work to do that, but like, 
they don't want they, they want your ass they want your ass in and they also you like a big reason was so they could fire a lot of expensive employees who like had gone other places it sucks it's really clear that so many companies are using this as a way to get employees to quit rather than have massive layoffs and that right. way they don't have to pay people severance and it looks better from a PR standpoint they're not even doing severance at this point they're not even doing severance at this point I like I I didn't get severance from when I was when I like left JP I didn't get severance so you know like like you're like like Unless you're like higher in the company, like I was just in a, I was like barely an associate. Like I didn't, like they, they, they like you, they don't, they're not giving severance, dude. Point at least in their minds that they're not having huge layoffs and people are just you know leaving of their own accord. And we can complain about more, you know, the great resignation type shit. It's Nobody really wants to work anymore. CEOs and other senior executives living in their multi-million dollar homes mm. to say, if you don't like it, just quit. Because they are completely disconnected from the reality that people are only working in these jobs because they have no other mm -hmm. choice. We cannot escape the exploitative system of capitalism. We cannot escape how just insane, unfettered, corporate greed has gotten in the US and we need to be able to put food on the table. We have bills to pay. We have people that we need to care for. And many of us don't have the luxury of just saying, I'm going to quit. Yeah, that's uh, we're in hell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ass but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is included in my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.